Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am going to discuss about how the height of a projectile and the range of a projectile are affected by the launching angle. So we know that the height of a projectile launched at an angle theta is given by v naught square sin square theta by 2g, where v naught is the initial velocity of the projectile and theta is the launching angle. Similarly, the range of a projectile is given by v naught square sin 2 theta by g. So at first, we will be looking what happened when different projectiles having same initial velocity v naught are projected at different angle of launching at different launching angle so we have got four projectiles having launching angle 20 degree 30 degree 45 degree and 60 degree they are launched with the same initial velocity that is 30 meter per second so let us see what happens so i am firing these four projectiles with same initial velocity that is 30 meter per second but different launching angle that is 20 30 45 and 60 degree so you can see that maximum height is covered when the launching angle is maximum that is here for 60 degree the height covered by the projectile is maximum you can see the height is maximum and the minimum height is for 20 degree launching angle so it can be verified from the formula that height is directly proportional to the launching angle more the launching angle more will be the maximum height also we can see that for the same initial velocity and for different launching angle the maximum range is covered when the launching angle is 45 degree. So it has been verified that in order to get maximum height, this launching angle should be maximum and in order to get maximum range, the launching angle should be 45 degree as shown in this animation. Now let us see how the initial velocity will change when we want the same maximum height with different launching angle. That means we want to keep the maximum height to be same for the different projectiles. So what should be the corresponding values of initial velocity? So here you can see that as the launching angle increases, the initial velocity decreases for height to remain constant. You can see in all the cases the height is same. So when the launching angle is small, the initial velocity is large. When the launching angle is large, the initial velocity is small. In this way, we can maintain the same height for projectiles at different launching angles. Now, at last, let's see if we want to maintain the same range at different launching angle, how the initial velocity should be maintained. So, I am firing the four projectiles of different launching angles so that the range remains same so in this case we can see that for launch when the launching angle is small the initial velocity should be large and as the launching angle increases the initial velocity should decrease in order to get the same range for different launching angle so with this 
we have explored the different conditions of height and range for a projectile. I hope you have understood. Thank you.